Hello and welcome to the Cotswold Way in England. People have asked me, why would anyone walk 102 miles for vacation? Well, for one reason, this is why. So much beauty and things to see. It's been really an amazing journey. But there are a couple of other reasons why I walk for vacation. First is to remember who I am. When I'm walking, cut off from telephones and appointments and all the busy things that take up our days, I get a chance to remember who I am. And as I re remember who I am, I get to think about, well, how can I be a better partner? How can I be a better friend? How can I be a better world citizen? And then how can I be a better pastor at Glide? You know, when you're walking, I have a chance to think about the mistakes I've made. I get to think about where I think the Spirit is leading us as a community, and then ponder who I need to be, what kind of pastor, what kind of leader I need to be to help us get to where we need to go. So it's been really powerful to take this walk. You know, pilgrims have been taking pilgrimages for thousands of centuries, walking hundreds of miles to sacred places. And as they stand on that holy ground, they are changed, they're transformed as they remember. They become more fully who they are. Because not everybody could take a journey of hundreds of miles, labyrinths often help to do the same thing. And we're very fortunate to have a labyrinth down in Freedom Hall. In a labyrinth, as you journey, as you go towards the center of the circle, you, you take an inward journey yourself, thinking about you and the challenges in your life and again, to remember who you are. And then outward, you go to kind of open yourself to embrace the world again. So when I get back, I hope some of us can do a labyrinth walk together down in Freedom Hall. It's really a powerful thing. So I hope that you make the space, wherever it is. You don't have to make a 102 mile journey. You can do a labyrinth walk. You can create a space in your day each and every day to just reflect on who you are, whose you are, and who you're called to be. And I hope it's as rich for you as this time has been for me. I hope you're having a blessed week, and I am certainly looking forward to seeing you when I get back later this month.